Greetings, peace and blessings. This is the Ravenous Blackbird, and you have tuned in to the Ravenous Blackbird YouTube channel once again. Welcome, and I pray everybody has been safe through the COVID-19. I've been safe. I know a lot of you probably was wondering what happened to me. You hadn't heard from me since the COVID-19 outbreak here in the United States of America from China. I haven't posted any videos. I did post a new one for the first time yesterday. So you want to go back and check that out in my playlist. Uh, and it is called Why I Chose to Boycott the NFL, the Baltimore Ravens, and Sports. Um, and then dot, 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 it's sad. And it really is. And you need to check that out. If you did not see that video, it's in my playlist. Why I boycotted the Baltimore Ravens, the NFL, and um, the sports world this season. This season. Uh, and I don't know, you know, what's going to happen after this season because of COVID-19 and all of this other stuff. But you need to check that video out. And it's in the playlist called Let's Talk Ravens, if you're interested. Anyway, this video is going to be about uh, the Los Angeles Lakers and the L.A. Dodgers. I figured I would put them together instead of doing two separate videos uh, in regards to what uh, has transpired with both of those teams recently. Uh, you all know, if you've been watching the news or if you're in the sports uh, like I am and a lot multitudes of other people, the Los Angeles Lakers and the L.A. Dodgers are so so called deemed champions right okay well this video is is called the lakers los angeles lakers and the los angeles dodgers which i live i'm a resident okay of a native of los angeles right now this is my home okay uh but i feel that they won their championships uh how can i put this they took it the, the pandemic for granted they won it by default so that's what I'll call this video. The Los Angeles Lakers and the LA Dodgers won the championships by default. And let's get into this, okay? And I may say some things that are going to offend. I know there's probably going to be Lakers fans watching this. And I know there's LA Dodgers fans watching this. And to me, a lot of them not, are not fans. They're much like I categorize much of the fans here as I do the protesters. And I'll explain to you why I say that, which most, most of the protesters, not all, and if you've been watching the news, are animals. They're acting like animals. And that's what a lot of the fans, so-called fans are here in Los Angeles. No, I am not a Los Angeles Lakers fan. Uh, I, I, I was trying to get on the Dodgers bandwagon years ago. But when I started seeing how the fans were acting and treating their own city after they celebrated, after a, a, a game was won or a championship game or something like that, and how they acted animalistic, and we know, you know from animalistic comes cannibalistic cannibalistic you start eating stuff you ain't got no business eating okay that's what animals do okay so anyway first of all let's get to why i believe and this is my opinion you don't have to agree okay uh but i'm looking at it statistically i'm looking at it from j not just in la because la just somewhat like new york um uh, la people kind of we're in sort of a lot of us are in a bubble it, you know if it's not you know, L.A. thought, then, you know what I'm saying? Then forget any, anything else. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it globally as to how both of these teams won this year, right? So to me, they won it by default, meaning because there is a global pandemic, okay? So my whole thing is, first of all, the sports world, the MLB, NBA, you know, and a lot of the other teams should be ashamed of themselves. First of all, this is why I chose to boycott sports this year. Okay, check out the video before this, and I just posted it yesterday. Uh, and why I've, I've not even been, I've, I may watch the highlights real quick and turn it, but I'm not keeping up. I've not cut, kept up with no trades. I've not kept up with who plays for who, yada, yada, unless, like I say, they mention it on the highlights, and then I turn it because there's too much stuff going on. You got racial injustice, you got all this stuff going on. And so, my whole thing is with all of this going on, how in the world? Would the National Basketball Association and the MLB and a lot of these other sports uh, entertainment entities put their people and uh, those that work for them, the basketball players, the baseball players, in, in situations where COVID-19 could harm them? They could catch COVID-19 and die. This thing is serious. 
And the sad thing about it is, it seems to me, okay, especially since this epidemic, I, 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 I do my studying, people. I don't just sit and watch the news. I do my studying. I dig. I don't just get all my information from the news because the news is anti such and such, anti-Trump and all this other stuff. So you need to do your own personal research, okay? So I looked at it as, okay, a lot of the players that were playing felt pressure. They felt pressured as if they needed to be there or they were letting their team down. You know, so a lot of the players didn't want to be there. A lot of them wanted to be home with their families, and rightfully so, during a pandemic crisis where people are dying and still dying on ventilators, people. Right now, as we speak, the numbers are surging up. And from what I've, 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 I've heard and through my research, we're not even still out of the first surge yet. Okay? But that's, that's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is the, 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 the NBA – and the MLB and a lot of these other sports entities should be ashamed of themselves that they care that much about ratings, that much about wealth, instead of people's health. There's no way you could tell me, right, that the Lakers and the Dodgers, both of them, win a championship the same year. Before the pandemic, how, has, how long, has that ever happened? Think about it, people. Has that happened before the pandemic? So why? COVID-19 hits, a lot of players' minds is not co completely focused. And you cannot tell me that all those basketball players, all those baseball players, even the football players, and, and we know that there's football players who recently caught COVID-19, but they don't care, right? That they're focused just on the game. And, and they can't be, you mean tell me they can't be focused on COVID-19? Why they're playing? They can't be focused on, wow, what if I catch this while I'm out here on the field or out here on the court? I don't care how much testing you do, because there's people that don't obey uh, mandates. They don't want to wear masks. They don't want to practice self-distancing. So you can do all the tests you want to, people. The problem is not the testing. The problem is not the, the president, and, and, and it's not his fault. It's the people's fault. When we're told to shut down, people don't want to shut down. They go against mandates and all this other stuff. So anyway, that's why I feel the Lakers and the Dodgers one by default. Had had COVID-19 been here, I believe the Los Angeles Clippers might have taken it. I believe they would have they would have played a lot better than they did. And there's other teams that were just as good as the Lakers. Am I saying the Dodgers weren't talented? No. Am I saying the Lakers weren't talented? No. I love LeBron James. You know, I think he's he's an incredible player. And this this is by means no disrespect to the to the players and to the talent, but I think they should have just held off from football season and, and basketball season. To when people's minds was completely clear, at least to next season, to see what happens. Because there's people still dying, not only COVID-19 people. Understand this. We got racial injustice. We got police brutality. We still got black-on-black -black crime, which Black Lives Matter, right? They're they not addressing that. But they're too busy sitting back calling the, the police department gangs. But, but black people in their own neighborhoods attacking black people are gangs. That's gang-related to me. But nobody's addressing that. So, you know, anyway, my whole thing with that is, yes, I believe in the middle of a pandemic crisis that the Lakers and the Dodgers won by default because a lot of people, players, excuse me, felt that they were pressured to have to be out there. They wanted to be there for their team. Everybody couldn't take off because if everybody stayed home, then it wouldn't be a team. So a lot of them were forced to, to, to play. And I don't believe that their minds were – focused 100% on playing basketball, playing baseball, right? So that's why I say they won by default. And, it's just, and it just so happens they both, the Los Angeles Lakers and the Dodgers, just so happen they win together in the same year. Prior to the pandemic, right? No. The, the Dodgers had been, what, two or three times to the championship and faltered. Here comes the pandemic, and they just kind of walked their way in. The Lakers walked their way in. Yes, they played in a bubble. I think the NBA did an excellent job. But uh, but but it's 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 the principal people that through the death of Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and everybody on the helicopter, and all this other stuff, the hurricanes, and I can go on and on and on. That you would that the, that that the sports industry would be that selfish to still want to play basketball, play football, and yada, I don't agree with that. I think that was foolish. 
that they would put people's lives at harm like that. And and a lot of those players, right, MLB, NBA, are married. So now they're thinking, okay, what if I catch this and take this back to my wife or my kids? See, this is the type of world we live in. So I think that was an, that was idiotic. And that's why I chose to say, you know what? Screw sports this year. Because, you know, there's a big election coming up. And people obviously don't realize how big this is, especially for Christians and for the church. Especially if you uh, 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 know anything about capitalism versus socialism. Okay? So that's why I said the Lakers and the Dodgers won it by default. Probably after this season, if they have it next year, Lord willing, we still here, that Jesus hadn't come back yet, right, to get the church, right, that I guarantee you they, they, neither one of them will win. And if they do win, they both not going to win because they took advantage of the pandemic. They, they walked their way to a championship. Now, that's all I'm going to say on that. Next, I want to get to the fans, okay, the Dodger fans. Oh, excuse me, the animals. How dare Laker animal fans, Dodger animal fans, go downtown 10, 15 minutes away from here where I am and destroy your city. You're animals. You're not. You're not fans. What you don't? The Boston Red Sox fans didn't do that. The Boston Celtics fans didn't do that. Why isn't L.A. the only city tear up their own city after they win a championship? It's only. It's only a game, people. It's a basketball game. You tear your city up in the middle of a pandemic crisis. You crowd up the, the cities of L.A. Not wearing masks, right? The governor tell everybody, hey, go get tested. Anybody that was down there celebrating. For the Lakers and, and, and the Dodgers, how many of y'all gonna go get tested? Because you're gonna feel you say, hey, ain't nothing wrong with me. I don't have no symptoms. You idiots, man. And I, I'm not saying that for every fan because there are true fans that know how to celebrate without acting like idiots or animals. That, 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 that left a really bad taste in my mouth. That's why, like Kurt Russell, this is part two of Escape from LA. I'm trying to get out of LA. You ever see the movie Escape from L.A.? If not, it's a John Carpenter movie. Check it out. It's got Kurt Russell in it. And the first one was Escape from New York. Then he made an Escape from L.A., which is a part two. So for me, I'm trying to escape out of L.A. Because I'm sick of this. People destroying their own cities, hating on one another. You know, you win a game and you want to burn, burn up buses, set buildings on fire. Throw stuff at the police and they're not even doing nothing but making sure they're protecting the, the turf of, of, of Los Angeles. What's wrong, people? I, I don't understand that. that I don't, who would do something like that? The Cleveland Cavaliers fans didn't tear up their city. They celebrated without setting stuff on fire. And they had the Cleveland Cavs hadn't won a championship in years. The curse got lifted. They didn't blow up nothing and, and, and set stuff on fire and do all this crazy stuff. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves to call yourself a Los Angeles Laker fan or a Dodger fan. You're, you're animals. And, 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 and the fact that I live in L.A. and other people live in L.A., you're giving the good people here that's trying to live right and do right and pay our taxes and all this stuff, and you tearing up the city. That's ridiculous. So with that being said, if I stepped on your toes, I pray God heals your feet, okay, because you needed it. That's ridiculous to do that. And for the MLB and the sports world and the NFL, that y'all putting people's lives at risk just for ratings and just for money, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. So I'm done ranting and raving. Until the next video, this is the Ravenous Blackbird. And feel free to leave comments, people, and whether you agree whether you disagree, I'm sure it's got to be some sane people out there that agree with what I'm saying. You don't tear up your city like that. Okay? There's more important things than a football game and a basketball game. There's people's lives that are being lost. Racial tension. Discrimination. Okay? The Black Lives Matter Marxist group. That's not no, that's, they're not protesters. They're Marxist groups. That's what they are. They have a hidden agenda. Do your research, people. This is the Ravenous Blackbird. Remember, go vote and go Trump. Peace.